Chris Bassett on the mound for the Athletics as he makes his 10th start. He has had an outstanding season with a 4 and 2 record, a sub 3 earned run average. First pitch of the ball game is grounded to Tony Kemp. And one pitch, one out as Dickerson is retired. So here's Donovan Solano. Swung on a miss, and down he goes the fastball away. Quickly, two away, and Belt is coming up. Swung on a high pop up, short left field. Grossman coming on. He's under it now, waiting for it. And he makes the catch. So the Giants go down one, two, three with the A's coming up in the bottom half. There's your starter tonight for the Giants, Logan Webb. Against the A's, he's only faced him a couple times. He's 0 1. Still looking for his work first win. Tommy Lestella DHing today, and he's batting 282. And this pop up may be playable. Crawford, a long run. He's done this before here, and he makes the catch. A long way to go for Crawford, and there's a lot of room to cover. In foul ground in this ballpark. So one away, and here is Marcus Simeon. Simeon taking inside Marcus Walk. So the A's have their first base runner, and Cannon's coming up. Ground ball to the right of second. Far to his left. Solano throws to second and throws it past Crawford. Everybody is safe, and the A's have runners at first and second. Not a smart play. Should have thrown to first base, get the second out. So now with one out, the A's have runners at first and second. We're in the bottom of the first. There's no score, and Matt Olson checks in. Now a fastball struck him out swinging. Two down in the first, and here is Jake Lamb. What a start to his A's career. Wearing the green and gold, he's 5 for 11, and that's a swing and a shot, and it's going to be through into right center for a base hit. One run is scored and Jake Lamb comes through once again and the A's take a one nothing lead. Now it's a matter of minimize the damage. And here comes Sean Murphy swing and a ground ball to second. Solano's got it straightens up and throws him out at first. The inning is over. And Crawford is going to jog into second base with a double. And the Giants had their first hit and that'll bring up Darren Ruff. Check swing and he goes on the appeal to first. And two K's in the inning on the slow curve. And the A's have two on with one out. And their best power hitter, Matt Olson, coming up. That one is drilled. Right field down the line, and that baby's gone. What a lift that'll be for Matt and for the ball club if Olson can find his stroke here in the final 10 days of the regular season. And that extends the A's lead to 4 0. The A's are back in business, already leading 4 0. Runners at first and third with one out for Tommy Lastella. Swinging a smash up the middle, diving for to his right of Solano, can't get it. And that will score Laureano. It's 5 0 A's, and the A's continue to have their way with Logan Webb. Hard to watch tonight. And now Simeon. And that's a base hit left center field. Kemp comes in to score, and it's now 6 to nothing. Gabe Kapler has seen enough, and quite frankly, I think everybody in orange and black has seen enough. And he will ask for Andrew Suarez. With Canna and then Olsen, the heart of the order, up again. Canna hits a change up off the end of the bat slowly to first. Belt will take it. Two down with Olsen coming up for the third time. So here's a slider. Swung on and missed by Olsen. Strike three. So Suarez comes out of the bullpen and gets a couple outs. A couple of walks in the inning for Bassett. His first two. And brings up Wilmer Flores. Now let's see if they can make him pay for this. He's given away two base runners with a six-run lead. Swung on and missed on a curveball. Down he goes 70 miles an hour. Perfect pitch, a thing of beauty. It has been an impressive night of work from the A's right-hander Chris Bassett. So in the last six hitters Chris Bassett has walked three here's Darren Ruff oh one bouncing ball left side deep short backhanded by Simeon bobbles it still goes to second they get the runner Crawford at second base Ruff at first and Joey Bart will come up for the third time hits a little squiver past the mound toward the middle Kemp comes in to try to barehand it the umpire Guccione dives to get out of the way and everybody's safe but a good night for Chris Bassett he goes six and two thirds Leads with a 6 nothing lead. Here comes Petit. So two on, two out. Fastball is sent toward Laureano again. In left center field, out into the shadows he goes. Onto the warning track, makes the catch, and the inning is over. Two pitches, and Petit gets the job done. Keeps the shutout intact. Right-hander Jordan Weems comes out of the bullpen to work for the A's in the ninth inning. The A's blanking the Giants at 6 nothing. Swing and a miss by Crawford is down on strikes. So here's Ruff, a right-handed hitter. Swung on and missed, and Ruff is down on strikes. If the A's get this last out right here, it won't quite be official, the postseason clinch, because they're still on the top of the ninth with the Padres on top of the Mariners 6-1. Turns and delivers, and it's swung on and missed. And this ball game is over, and the A's are closing in on clinching a postseason berth in 2020. And if that Padre Mariners score holds, the Athletics will be in the postseason for the 11th time in the last 21 years. What an accomplishment for this organization.